and they can't find something to satisfy me. This is going to be my new talk area. Hopefully, don't need to sit on anything. Okay. <laughs> All right, so where do I go from here? Wow, those are really green shoes. Okay. Um, I think something is going on in the world, honey. Because when I turn on YouTube, all I see our videos like maybe appealing to like my topic of life like a youtuber that i watch her name is jordan cheyenne she's taking a youtube break um i love her single mom she is something she is someone who has taken her craft and done well with it and that's what i aspire to be and i'm gonna get to that later on in the video a couple of things well let's just do it now a couple of things that i have launched in this do i call it a crisis i don't want to call it a crisis but i do want to call it like a pivotal moment in my life when i'm like okay i can't keep doing the same thing i can't keep um disappearing and then resurfacing and having these like moments where all of a sudden all of a sudden i'm sharing with you guys why i've been missing i can't do that and i refuse to do that so i'm forcing myself to put up videos consistently even if it is just me sitting in my friend's closet um and talking to you guys <sighs> but right but i just feel like i don't know i feel like everybody's not taking a break from social media but like redefining the lines of social media and i think that's what i need to do um because I can't keep doing the same thing. I don't want to keep doing the same thing. And I don't want to change my personality. Like, I want to feel happy and be able to be happy. And also on days when I'm not happy, be able to say, girl, I'm about to be um, three days into a box of tampons. Um, with that being said, I have picked up clients outside of YouTube in 2019. I picked up a realtor um, to help her with her social media and I'm also working with another client helping them dive into social media and just brand building since what I've done with myself is build a brand from scratch. Um, no bought views, no paid for views, no paid for um, anything everything that i've done with my social media and my brand and, and and being able to make an income off of it has stemmed from just being organic as possible and just building it organically as possible and if i can teach other people how to do that catering to their needs because everybody's story isn't my story and everybody doesn't have a brand uh specific genre right so I'm I'm able to work with different genre, genres of people like the realtor, which is real estate. And that's a business. And then my newest client is somebody who wants to get into social media, YouTube and brand building. So I feel like I do have those qualities. I have done it for myself. I do work with big brands, McDonald's, Winn-Dixie, um, you know, the Shark Tank business. Um, I'm drawing a blank. Shark, the Shark Tank business, um, Cousins Maine Lobster, uh, and and just a ton over the years. Universal Studios. <sighs> Jeez, I I really need to. I feel like I need to make make out a resume. But beyond the resume, I've created a website, and I am going to be doing social media coaching. If you want a mentor, a coach, I can offer something to anyone where they need me so if you already have a social media platform and you just need to know how to give it a boost to make youtube recognize you to get more viewership to get more 
um, sponsorships, whatever, I'm there for you. If you just need a mentor to help you get started, I'm there for you. Or you need kind of all of the same, then I'm there for you. Or if you are a brand looking for an ambassador, I am here for you. I can connect you with myself or the people that I am mentoring. I can connect you with them. So I do have a website. I will link that below. Um, it is a beta website. So I feel like if you don't start, then you won't start. So this is just the beginning. I'm just learning. I built the website myself. So check it out if you're interested. Check it out if you are um, trying to get into social media and you need help. I am willing to do coaching calls um, and mentorship. The coaching calls, I can do as many of those as I need to. But when it comes down to mentorship, I'm only going to pick up, I want to say, Four. I'm only going to mentor four people because I can only imagine myself um, extending myself to four people because you're going to have my phone number, you're going to have my email, you're going to have access to me on um, text messages and we'll set up scheduled times to talk and stuff like that. But when, when I'm mentoring you, I'm going to call you in the morning, I'm going to call you at night. So it's a real, real thing and I've gotten really good at it I'm just saying I'm just saying um also I have left the details to my merch store which is mugs y'all know I love coffee mugs I love coffee okay so I have labeled them as messy bestie mugs because the sayings on them are just so messy and laughable I think one says asking for a friend you know okay girl or um the other one of them says all of my wine glasses are dirty and another one says there will be wine in this cup later just cute little cups so check that out in the description box below uh, moving forward girl life and social media and where to go from here especially with um vlogging i don't think vlogging will ever go anywhere for me um however i do realize that i'm going to be going to court um i don't want to change my personality but i do have to protect myself in a certain type of way and that doesn't mean um holding back my personality but i may become a little bit i don't i don't even want to say private because i feel like and there was a comment to somebody. It was it was cool because I didn't disagree with her opinion, but she said, um, you should be the same way that you are online as you are offline. I don't feel that way because this is my job, right? So when you're at your job, you put on your proper speaking voice, you go by your resume, um, you go by, you stick to your job attributes and when you at home you take your wig off you may say a couple of explicatives you know Shan, uh, turn on some ungodly TV show and relax and that's what I'm like when the camera is off when the camera is on this is work for me these videos are monetized because that's how youtubers make their money let's be real okay so I'm gonna be a little bit different at work because I have to appeal to universal brands. So I can't be on here cussing like a sailor because McDonald's ain't gonna like that. You know what I'm saying? I can't be talking about all of my opinions because in this day and age, you cannot be opinionated. You have to be brand friendly, okay? Because you run the risk of offending who, boo, and do. That's all I'm saying. So I feel like there is a line that is unrealistic, right? Like, but anyway, that's a whole nother topic. But yeah, um, and if I choose, say for instance, if I'm dating somebody, if I choose not to share with y'all that I'm even dating or choose to share, not share the person's face, that's my prerogative. Nobody um, deserves that right unless you're delusional, right? I'm just saying, okay? I'm just saying. Um, and that's if I've never given you, I want to say, that's if I've never given you any clues that I was even dating. Now, if I've given you clues that I'm dating, of course, I'll be like, yeah, girl, boo, we doing this, we doing this, we going here, we going who, boo, 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 boo. But if I've never even shared with y'all that I'm dating or whatever, it's like, come on now, 
you really want to see the inside of my underoos. And I don't want you to see the inside of my underoos. That's why I haven't shared the inside of my underoos with you. <sighs> Nevertheless, I already know that certain entities are sitting on my channel watching, waiting for me to say something defamatory, um, slanderous, um, contemptuous, uh, derogatory. Did I say derogatory, demeaning, and degrading, right? I already know this. So I already know as well that those entities like poking me throwing a rock and hiding the hand like oh she's acting like a donkey online <gasps> who can't believe it you know what I'm saying it's just like you're provoking me but that's karma because that's gonna come back so um moving forward I just want to have fun I know that my personality is geared toward being a real individual and not really um being like some 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 fake personality my brand is based off of valencia's life so i'm not really trying to change that but we'll, we'll figure it out as we go along and you know it it's gonna be what it is and i thank you guys for understanding the situation as it is um but like I, I'm, I'm just tired and i do want to be left alone and I, I know there are certain things that come with being a social media presence and a public figure you just don't expect it from somebody that you had kids with you know what i'm saying so i expect it from the world but not that and I won't be sharing any type of details between me and that person and how we how we go about co-parenting, I should say, or the difficulties or if if I have a problem, I'm not going to reach out to you guys to solve them. That's what I'm saying. And if you know that somebody is reaching out to solve those problems, don't engage. Um, and that's all I can really ask. You have to let our problems be our problems as parents. Anything else, if I look stank like I ain't taking a shower in a day, say that. If my wig is twisted, do that. If you know, who child, my camera died. But yeah, if I see any comments that are pertaining to my children or them other people, my moderators are going to snatch it up, okay? Snatch it up like you got to go boo-boo, but you don't boo-boo in public. Hold it till you get home, okay? That's what they... Ooh, ooh, you've had that experience before, you know what I'm saying? So, um, none of that will be tolerated. Y'all keep that stuff on the dark web. All them opinions that y'all got to say about me. All the court documents that y'all want to release over there with the delusional people. Because that's the only place it's going to live and breathe. And if you reach out to any of my subscribers, they're going to pay you dust too. You just, you're just dead to us. You're dead to us. We're not giving y'all no more opinion, okay? This is Valencia's life, Valencia's best friend, Valencia's gang, Valencia's beehive. They do sting. They're dangerous. Highly dangerous. <laughs> just kidding. Only if you have allergies. But anyway, yeah. And two, I don't want to make my lawyer mad. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like certain things needed to be said. Because I felt like I was going insane. But yeah. That's how we're going to maneuver about the cabin. Um, some of you guys suggested the gray rock method. I ain't even look into that, but I'm gonna look into that, but I'm not gonna look into that, but I'm a gray rock method on Jesus, for real. I saw somebody was like, I can't watch your channel because you always playing with the Lord when you pray. I can't help the fact that I have 
um, a friend of Jesus. I can't help that Jesus is my homeboy. And I can't help that when I pray, I'm not like some grandmama who live in Florida with 10 cats. Like, oh, thou art here with me in thine spirit, Jesus. No, I'm talking to Jesus how I want to talk to Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I pray. And that's why I feel like I get blessed because I come to the Lord bare, naked, and just as messy and just a wretched sinner as I am. I ain't trying to come to the Lord all perfect. Thou art Bartholomew, hold thy mule on Saint Chapel's Hill. Nah, I'm like, now you know what, Lord, today... I feel like launching a missile, Lord, in the spirit, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's how I pray. Okay? So, if y'all are offended by my prayers that are very real to me, I'm going to tell you to, um... I don't know. Put my, put, put, put my name in the Bible and pray for me. Okay? That's, put, put my name in the Bible and pray for me. But anyway, um... I'm going to go now. This was a good chat. This was a, a good talk. Um, I'm okay with not being okay. And that's okay. And that's why I was able to get out of bed today and move about the cabin. And I only want to... I only want to... At this point, y'all, I only want to be happy. And I only want to do things that make me happy. And I don't want to give any attention to anything else um so yeah that's pretty much it for today i will chat with y'all tomorrow i'll be back tomorrow like i said consistency is key and i'm not disappearing any more anymore all right i gotta go it's sunday um grilling out with some friends we're going to have some brisket and wings and burgers and that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys later and you can catch up with me on my social media accounts. I have Snapchat and I have Instagram and again make sure you check out my merch store if you want to support me. Please don't create any GoFundMe's. No GoFundMe's. No GoFundMe's. Just um, support my merch. You know, in a legitimate way because I don't have time for anybody to be like, she's a scammer. Uh, buy a mug. Buy a t-shirt. Um, and that's the best that I could say. Do. Links are in the description box. Below, I'm going to stop rambling now. I really got to get more friends because i just just too good at talking to myself in this camera.